This is Doug Brunk reporting from the annual meeting of the American Academy of Cosmetic Surgery in Las Vegas. One topic discussed was how to optimize the waiting room experience for your patients. One of the statements you made was that the waiting room is an extension of you as a practitioner. What do you mean by that? I mean that the waiting room should really represent who you are. So if you are all about natural results and a lot of aesthetic uh, procedures, then your waiting room should also be very aesthetically pleasing. Maybe you want to bring in an interior designer to help you make sure that everything looks good. Everything should always be neat and tidy. You should take concern of of what you're buying and what you're placing in your waiting room because while your patients are sitting there, they're looking around and they're analyzing every every detail there. It should be clean, it should be professional, and it should be really the image and the branding that's consistent through your entire marketing strategy. Uh, Speaking of branding, one of the tips you gave was to consider offering water bottles and other amenities that contain your logo and maybe phone number on there. Uh, What are some other tips to enhance your waiting room experience? Sure, there's so many great things that you can give away to patients. And when they take something home and it's something they're going to use, it's a great tool for patient retention because they're going to remember you over time. I've done everything from little little mini flashlights on keychains to these really cool cell phone holders, sometimes um, little zip drives, um, like I said, water bottles, um, squeezy toys, chapsticks. If you get a magazine like for imprint, um, you can go and get hundreds of ideas. Um, there's t-shirts. There's really the, the opportunities are endless and a lot of them you can spend just a couple dollars on and it can go a long way. Well, your waiting room really is your time to market to the patient. And if they're going to be sitting there for 20 minutes, why not be teaching them about something you want to teach them? For example, if you can give them a little bit more information about the procedures that you offer, perhaps you might be able to shave a minute or two off of your consult time. If you can save two minutes off of every consult, you can fit in one extra consult a day. And if you multiply that out, that can be a lot of revenue at the end of the year. So the more that you can educate your patients, before you meet them, the better. You've all heard that patients only retain about 20% of what you tell them. Well, if they read it on your website before they come in, then they learn about it in your waiting room, then you tell them about it, and then you send them home with the brochure, maybe they'll remember half of it.